Sawate. This is Jeff. And this is David. And we're playing Doom 64. This is the Altar of Pain. Which kind of yeah. fits because you get attacked right off the bat. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that at the end of the last video. Yeah. Uh, so to make this a little bit more fun, I'm going to have this Baron do most of the killing for me in this first area. <laughs> Barons, because they have so much health. A thousand. Which yes. Second, uh, second highest in this game. Uh, I guess it's third highest, but certainly the highest for just regular enemies that appear. Oh, there we so, go. There, there we go. go. We got a hit. Got a hit. I'm going to take this guy out just because he's, uh, he's kind of annoying me, but all right. Unfortunately, it was the imp. Was the imp that hit. Now, when I killed the imp there, uh, he let out a uh, roar of self-satisfaction uh, because he's too dumb to realize that he was not the one that <laughs> actually finished killed. off yeah. the imp. But he took credit for it. Uh, so, not too happy about that, but in the end, I get credit for all the kills, I guess. Because yeah. that's, they're and dead. Naturality. That's yeah. what matters. Yes. Oh. This no old pink demon. I'm going to go bite that guy. Ah, there we go. Got some action going here. Uh, now, on a, on a previous attempt, I actually got this to be uh, pretty clean. I didn't take any damage, and I ended up getting a real good uh, side view. So it, uh, it looked a little bit more like a... Uh, just fighting game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is pretty good. Uh, it's a little time consuming, but uh, also don't do this. This is uh, irresponsible, but also kind of hilarious. As soon as this guy gets distracted, I'm going to use the chainsaw in order to finish him off. <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that is uh, That's the random number generator being kind. <laughs> Barons have a very, very low pain chance. Yeah. Something like... 25%? Something like that? Very low. Maybe even less than that. But if you're hitting them eight times a second, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but even so, that was still a lot of luck, because a single claw attack can do up up to 80 damage to you. So. Dang. Yeah. This, they do uh, the range of attack values on a claw now, attack you're, are you're, much higher than the fireballs, for instance. You're also, again, exhibiting the usefulness of a shotgun as a yeah. sniping platform. Yeah, it's a, a single shotgun still has some use, uh, especially in this particularly painful oh. level. Because uh, this, is all, this is also a reason why this one's a little bit longer is because I have to had to make sure that everything was dead. And there's a lot of enemies on the outside edges uh, that just kinda tend around. to wander around and Get, get distracted and Ow. sometimes the only reason I know they're there is if I just see a fireball just kind of wistfully drift by <laughs> like oh I like, want to hit oh, you to, I have to track that one back see where that one came from make a mental note now I, I, I really do like that the, the fact that the shotgun does have well granted a shotgun doesn't necessarily have you know infinite like 400 yard range like this game seems to be yeah. it's more than 10 feet really yeah, more than 10 feet Normally so, in video games, it's just a matter of balancing. Yeah. They don't. It's the same way that if you have a video game that has uh, swords as well as guns, the uh, guns will always not will always be worse than swords. Yeah. <laughs> just like, like, I stabbed you in the gut. Well, I shot a cantaloupe-sized hole in your head. I dealt more damage. Great. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and all this reminds me of is how I wish that the guns in Art of Sorrow were better. Yeah, they're pretty they're kinda, terrible. They're kind of awesome that they are that they just like, hey, what don't we, why don't we just put guns and also like a laser gun in the Castlevania? The Positron Castlevania. rifle? Yeah. yeah, we'll just put a laser gun in a Castlevania game. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm all for that. That sounds cool. But then they're actually kind of super lame. Well, the Positron rifle is pretty much just a really long sword. Okay, yeah, I guess. The, I guess there was the silver gun. The right? silver gun. There was the just the regular hand regular gun. gun and the silver gun. I thought those were cool additions, but oh yeah, they just didn't. like a lot of the weapons in the Castlevanias. There, there's you know like the handful that you actually use for realsies. For realsies. The other ones you're like, all right, well, whatever. yeah, you get that, thanks. Oh no, we can't get past this small knee high wall. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, problem. Lots of video game characters have. Yeah. Uh, even even today. Yeah. I, I, I did like the way that uh, I think it was Earthbound handled it. Like they was like, there's a giant, there's it's blocking your way. Whatever. Well, I mean, they are Earthbound. Oh. oh. Think about it. I think about it all the time. Always. I'm gonna click that switch. That switch does something. 
I'm just, it fell off. That I, sucks. I'm I'm gonna guess. <laughs> it's not supposed to fall off. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna guess that, that that switch maybe helped with that knee high uh, knee high impediment. I think you might be right. <gasps> oh and you're dear! Correct. Yay! You got a blue key card. What was that behind the blue key card? That was just a little nook. Oh, just like there was a tree or something. Oh yeah, okay. The little just like a little tree. Just yeah. Okay. So it's probably a tree. Cool. For atmosphere. Uh, now this level actually has music. Oh. Uh, which is just really dissonant and sad strings. Okay. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, is music. Well, uh, I, yeah. Rather than just the uh, the ambience of the uh, or, or the or the killer riff of the first map. <laughs> <laughs> They can't all be, you know, they that, can't all be bangers like that. Yeah. But, you, know, you understand. Uh, that that is, secret? in fact, not a secret. Oh. Uh, that is just you run around confused and, until you find that, and then you can move forward. Oh. Uh, we'll nice. need a yellow key to get through there. Uh, we'll be back around that little hallway shortly. So every time that skull texture pops up, that's a, that's a switch? Yes. Okay. For the most part, yes. That'll always be a switch. See if I can get it. There we go. Yeah, you got him. Uh, it's still maybe not as efficient because it still it used a lot of ammo. But, but then again, it also killed him. So Yeah, I mean, you probably, probably would have yeah. used about 30 just shooting the thing. Uh, I, there was a Hell Knight way off to my left that tried to hit me there. I, I did just, see. Uh, yeah. Did a quick little uh, Neo dodge there. Oh, <laughs> the Doom guy. He can't jump. No, but yeah, he, he can dodge bullets. He can. He can, he can outrun fireballs. Yeah, that is true. Um, and in fact, can practically outrun rockets. Yeah. If you uh, get that run button on and get an open field, you can catch up with your own rockets. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. You can do that in Doom 2. It's really funny. <laughs> so um, you can. There was, uh, I do not remember uh, the exact number, but. You can figure out the the land speed of the Doom Marine based on the, <laughs> the approximate uh, approximate height, because uh, like 96 map units in Doom 2 is how high your character or how tall your character is, and you can maybe assume that to be something like six feet. Um, and then using the amount of speed that you uh, or the amount of map units that you can cross in X number of seconds, it comes out to something really ridiculous like. 50 miles an hour <laughs> <laughs> he's like really 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 good at uh, holding his gun steady whilst running um, can only imagine what his legs look like probably something like Sonic <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, thinking just, like, a, just a bl blur it's a circle blur cartoonish blur <laughs> I just kind of imagine like maybe they're just like super massive thighs like his upper body's muscly kind of but then he's just like giant trunks just for legs, just trunks for legs. Just blur <laughs> Yeah, this is just a blur. Yeah. This uh, partial invisibility is more of a trap than anything because it doesn't do you any good. All it does is make this next part a lot harder. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> now it's harder to dodge uh, fireballs because they're unpredictable. Sometimes they'll be in front of you or sometimes they'll be leading you if you're, if you're dodging to the side. And the randomness makes it harder to... Uh, predict well obviously because it's random that's oh, how yeah. that's how those that is the relationship between those concepts yes Are you following me here yeah i might be okay good to know but uh yeah you know maybe maybe the 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 sprites are all lies and the doom marine just has tank treads for legs that would explain why he can't so. jump and he can't get over something that's a little too high uh here is the eponymous altar of pain if eponymous? Yes, that means of the name. Oh. Thus, what is named after. Oh, okay. Now you know ah. what that means. Ah. It, could, it could also have gone with titular. Titular, I, which I know. Which means I'm... basically the same thing. Yeah. And is a lot funnier. Um, just <laughs> of course. in and of itself. Well, it has the... Hey, we finally found uh, the Unmaker officially here. Yay. All right. Uh, now, the secret... Uh, secret. The first secret level we went to, the Outpost Omega, did actually have one of those in it, but right. it was optional. Uh, it was a secret, but even the the secret was optional, as explained earlier. Yeah, which is weird, but hey. I mean, we're uh, here. So this is called the Unmaker. It's the only new weapon in Doom 64. It is a demon laser rifle. Uh, I prefer my own name for it, the Flesh Rifle. Yes, because uh, that's, that's what it's it accurate. is. It's evocative. Um... 
accurate and evocative. I think those are good adjectives. That, and that, yeah. yeah, that's what you need in a name. Yeah. The Unmaker. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the, the Unmaker a was, in fact, uh, originally in the Doom Bible, which is sort of the uh, the design doc for the original Doom. Uh, so it does make mention of a, a demon weapon called the Unmaker, but that was later cut from Doom and Doom 2. Uh, so there is a sort of weird canonicity to the Unmaker. Uh, they did not midway and uh, did not just kind of pull it out of the ether. Uh, it is, they kind of did their homework. So the Unmaker is there. There is yeah. There's a history there. Uh, so was the um, how to phrase this? Did the uh, was the addition of the Unmaker one of the reasons why they couldn't have all the enemies in there or? Uh, well, cart space is why they can't have all the enemies in there. Well, I just meant maybe the Unmaker took up so much cart space they couldn't have Revenant. No, no, I mean, it's only got, like, what, two frames of animation? Well, yeah, now that I see it. Uh, that is a secret exit. That because will lead to a is, secret yeah, area? Yeah. Well, that is considered a secret area, yes. But oh. It will lead to a secret level. That's, that's what I meant. Yes, that's, okay, that's what you meant. In that case, yes, that will lead to a secret level. But we have a few more things to do, like... Hunt down all the stupid little enemies that are running around the edges and, and actually kill a few more things. I've actually never even seen the regular exit of this level until I played through it here. <laughs> just because I always just go to the secret exit and like, all right, on my way, moving on. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of the same thing when uh, with uh, downtown in Doom 2. Yeah. I just always go to the secret exit to get to Wolfenstein. Oh, okay. And have like no no real memory of the very last part of the, the actual level there. <laughs> Always get lost. <laughs> I was like, I th I've never really played this. <laughs> it's like, I always just go to the secret level. Uh, now, I was, I was getting hit by things, oh, which okay. is indicating that, yeah. Oh, wow. Some, He's... It just splattered. Yeah. So the, the Unmaker, which uses energy cells, um, is basically an infinitely better version of the plasma rifle. Oh, plasma uh, gun. Yeah, the plasma gun. Sorry. Don't mean to offend uh, riflemen everywhere. So the Unmaker is more powerful than the BFG because it, it actually has uh, power-ups associated with it. So the demon artifacts, the ones we've been collecting, right. uh, actually many, power up the Unmaker and make it more powerful. How many do we have? Uh, we have one. Okay. Uh, you get one per secret level. Right. That is if you can find them. Oh, we yeah. can find them. I know where they are. I figured you've been okay. playing this for 20 years. Okay, not 20 years. This came out in 97? 97. I think 97. Uh, but anyways. Close yes, enough. The, uh, the demon artifacts, of which we have one, uh, each three, there's three of them. They will each power up the Unmaker in increasingly broken ways. So <laughs> the Unmaker, uh, sort of vanilla Unmaker, I guess. You know, just vanilla. Just plain, you know. Low, Before you low add sprinkles fat, and yeah. chocolate syrup. Low fat, low calorie on maker. Um, has a very low rate of fire and it's, it shoots a single single laser beam. So it's like... Beer, yeah, it's just... Beer, 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 Whereas in right now we're dealing with... Beer, 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 beer. Yes, the first upgrade increases the rate of fire uh, to what it is currently. So is it always the first upgrade or yes. just that specific? No, so it's, it's always the first. Okay. It's just They stack. Uh, so the second upgrade, which we'll be getting after we get through the secret level, adds a second laser. So it takes two ammo at a time and it shoots two lasers at a time. Um, and then the last, see if you can guess what the last one does. You, you shoot three you lasers? shoot three lasers? Oh my God. Yep. So you shoot three lasers at a time. So it takes three energy cells at a time or per, per little shot, uh, which means it does a significant amount of damage very, very quickly. Which sounds fantastic. Yes, and, and they have vertical and a little bit of horizontal auto tracking. That. Kind of like rockets do. That's ridiculous. So yeah, the Unmaker is uh, is you can beat the uh, last boss in something like twelve seconds with the fully upgraded Unmaker, <laughs> which is why this is not going to be super difficult once we get there. Uh, but we have found the second proper secret level, as indicated by this little placard of text. Story. I love yeah. that last line. Let them taste, taste their, their guts, because that's all the real motivation you need. Yeah. So next time on Let's Play Doom 64, we will be tackling the liar. I mean, the lair. It's the, the lair. Lair. The, it's the... Liar. <laughs> <laughs>
liar, liar, like the instrument liar. Yes. Like like lyr- lyric lyrics lyrics the lyrics, like like ly- Lyra Lyra ly- ly- the main character from Golden Compass. It's it's also money. Lyra yeah. is money and. Libra is an uh, astrological sign. That's and, true. And, uh, it's also uh, it's also a good way to find out about your enemies. You just have to cast it, it is. on them. It is. It's very similar to, uh, you know, scan. And yeah, it's very, very liberating yes, it is to indeed. use Libra. Very liberating. Uh, oh. Which reminds me of the People's Liberation Army, which is, of course, China. And, yeah, they liberate people. And then... Of, Everything, more uh, or less. Everything, yeah. And, and, and that always makes me think of Sorrow, which makes me think of Aria of Sorrow, which we talked about recently. And, uh, and that makes me think of Eisenfunk's song Pong. Let us play Pong. See, that's, that's like a German beatbox. It's like angrier. Because you have like... like dose, 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 dose. Yeah. I'm stopping now. Yeah.